You guys ready to be the next act? Because now it is Rock Me coming to the stage. Yeah! How are you guys doing? I'm Rockby and I'm from Iceland. I don't know how much you know about Iceland, but there are about 300,000 of us all in all. Can you tell how inbred I am by looking at me? No, really, it's, it's fucked up because we're all related. Like, seriously, I'm not even Rockby. We send a new comedian to Yuckers every time they buy it. It's a new comedian all the time. You all look alike. You all think it's Rugby. Anyway. Uh, well, it's horrible how inbred we are because, like, I'm back in Iceland and my girlfriend broke up with me because I was cheating on her with her cousin. And I just go, BITCH! She's my cousin, too! <laughs> Nah, uh, but it's, it's, it's really messed up, because in Iceland, the worst thing, the women all look exactly alike because they're so inbred. They're all tall, blonde, sleek, with a face like Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Horrible. Because <laughs> how is a loser like me supposed to get laid in a place like that? With no ugly women. <laughs> That's why I came to Canada. <laughs> I haven't gotten a date here either. I shouldn't have gone north of the border. I got really close to getting late in Montreal this one time though. It was in a karaoke bar called Club Date in the village. It was like where the village people live. The gay part of Montreal, yeah, right. And I don't speak any French. And there were like a bunch of guys who didn't speak any English. And I got cornered. And like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have been singing, you know, Told the Touch of the Heart in karaoke, but... <laughs> well, there I was, you know. And I don't speak any French. And like, okay guys, I just need to get this thing clear. I am not gay. Ah, oui, oui, gay, c'est bon, <laughs> No! I am not gay! I'm gay! Oh man. And in the end, I just figured, you know, rather than try to explain this to him, it would be a lot easier to just take it up the ass a few times. Yeah, but uh, then my friend George comes in to save me. He's like, Rockley, I'm saving you, I'm dragging you out of here. No, no, George. You run, you save yourself, I'll take one for the team. No! We can run, we can escape, what's the fuck's your problem? Oh, no, you run, you save yourself, you're my friend, I'll take one for the team, or two, one, three, or four, or five. Um, but George actually speaks some French, so he found out that these guys weren't even gay. They were just French guys from France. To them, they didn't even know this was a gay part. To them, this was just a place where people acted normally, spoke normally, and dressed normally. <laughs> if you people had any decency whatsoever, you should so be booing this. <laughs> I have no shame, seriously, people. I have no shame. I have a two-inch penis. <laughs> And I still leave a light on when I bring women home. <laughs> oh man. You guys read superhero comics? Nerds in the audience? Good, good. I was wondering because I read a lot of superhero comics. Every superhero is like this boring nobody who has like an alter ego. He's just like this boring paper boy, whatever. But whenever anything exciting happens, they go running into a phone booth or some kind of a closet, and then come out of the closet wearing brightly colored spandex. Okay, wouldn't it just be easier to have all the superheroes come out of the closet for good? You know. Yeah, then Mr. Fantastic could be Mr. Fabulous. 
The human torch could be called the flaming guy. <laughs> Doctor Strange would be Doctor Queer. <laughs> And the invisible woman would still be the invisible woman because, like, to the guys, she would pretty much be invisible. <laughs> yeah, and then of course Batman and Robin could be called the Catholic priest and Salter boy. Oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, did you know that there's Sexaholics Anonymous? Like, Alcoholics Anonymous? Do you see the point? I mean, how long is it going to take for a meeting of Sexaholics Anonymous to turn into an orgy? <laughs> it's going to be like, Hi, my name is John, and I am a sexaholic. Now enough talk! Who wants a mercy if right? <laughs> oh. What do you guys think of fake orgasms? Well, I've never seen one. <laughs> I love fake orgasms. I'm a wrestling fan. I love things that are fake. You know, seriously. I also, what's the deal with making a fake orgasm? Women, they spend hours and hours on fake eyelashes, fake fingernails, fake boobs. They can damn well fake enjoyment for the two minutes it takes me to have sex with them. <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. I'll be back after. Um, <laughs> well, the, the real reason why I love fake orgasms is because it's the only way I'll hear any moaning from a woman that's not something like this. <clears throat> This is the third time in a row you forget my birthday. <laughs> I can't believe I lost 10 pounds just for you and you didn't even notice. I came all the way down from 300 to 290 and you didn't even notice. <laughs> of myself making sweet love to an American woman. Thanks very much. We'll see you later. <laughs>